January the 28th, 2020. Guys, we've had a large quake down between Cuba and Jamaica. It came in as a 7.3, but now they've raised it uh, to a 7.7. It's located right there. Now, saying it's 10 kilometers deep, a lot of times when it's in the ocean, that's what they'll say because they don't know the exact depth on it. But you can see there's been aftershocks. And this is 125 kilometers north, northwest of Lucia, Jamaica. Pull this up. And it's right on this Cayman Ridge fault line, right there. It runs all the way over to the uh, Middle American Trench, which is part of the Ring of Fire. Now, the thing that's concerning here is we've got buoy movement. We, I don't have a lot of information. I'm going to keep the video short because of uh, people on the islands and uh, any shipping interest. Now, this is another one of the links. Earthquakes, National Data Buoy Center, all on bpearthwatch.com. At the top right, click on links. But guys, here, and uh, again, the quake is down between uh, Cuba and Jamaica in this area. But there's been a push of water, and uh, it's uh, we're talking about uh, some pretty big waves here. Let's look here south of the Bermuda Rise. This particular uh, station, number 41425, this buoy is indicating an over a 60-foot wave. And it happened very quick. This was a shift in water. You got 5,240 meters right there on the blue line, guys. You see that? Suddenly, within one minute, that's the green line right there. You're going from 54 to, to 50, excuse me, 5,240 in meters to 5,260. That's 20 meters or 60 feet. But you can see that it was probably about 70 feet. See that green line and then the sudden drop. But it did it several times. In other words, in rapid motion within that minute period of time. So I want to keep it short. Don't I don't have a lot of information other than just a, this one quick update. Havana from the Associated Press. The USGS says a powerful magnitude 7.7 .7 quake struck south of Cuba and northwest of Jamaica. There were no immediate reports of damages or injuries. It was offshore, but we it is early in the game, so we will keep an eye on it. And again, comment if you have friends or relatives or have information. Let us know. The quake could be felt strongly in Santiago, the largest far eastern Cuban city, said Belkis Guerrero, who works in the Catholic Cultural Center in the center of the city. We were all sitting and we felt the chairs move. She said we heard the noise of everything moving around us. She said there was no apparent damage in the heart of the colonial city. It felt very strong, but it doesn't look like anything happened, she told the AP. Again, offshore, uh, it initially was reported uh, as a 7.3. Guys, keep it short. I'm going to upload it. Uh, check on your friends in that area. We will update this and uh, the coronavirus uh, in a video later tonight. So heads up, be safe.